The first thing you have to remember in looking back is that no American prior to August 6, 1945, except those involved in the Manhattan Project, had any idea that an atomic bomb was a practical prospect. Accordingly, when the, when the news came that a weapon, a weapon called an atomic bomb, had been dropped on Japan, very few people at that point were able to grasp exactly what it meant. News of the dropping of the first and then the second atomic bomb on Japan did not make a huge impact on the Marines simply because it was another bomb, another weapon of war in a world that they had seen much too much of weapons of war and their destruction. We received the news with quiet disbelief, coupled with an incredible sense of relief. We thought the Japanese would never surrender. Many refused to believe it. Sitting in stunned silence, we remembered our dead trying to comprehend a world without war. I think this is why the war, the way the war was ended, received such strong support in the States for the Marines and Army units stationed on Okinawa and all around the world. It meant in very personal terms that they weren't gonna die, probably at this point in their lives, that they were gonna live, that there was gonna be a world beyond war. It's, it's not a thrilling moment. You see the victory celebrations in New York and the famous you know, films of them in newsreels, but the guys accepted it with some solemnity. They'd been through hell and now it was, now it was over. 